Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today's topic is start now. You'll learn as you go. Start it now. Learn as you go. Start it now. Learn as you go. You really don't know what you need to learn until you start doing that thing. So you've been wanting to start making content. You've been wanting to start your own YouTube channel. You've been wanting to uh, create an ebook. You've been wanting to start a small business and get on Etsy. You've been wanting to get back into the dating world. You've been wanting to, et cetera, et cetera. So many things you've been wanting to do, but you haven't gotten started yet. A lot of reasons why this is. First, reason that comes to mind is fear. Fear of getting started. What if it doesn't work out? What if it succeeds? What if it doesn't turn out like I expect it to? What if it doesn't go as according to plan? All that stuff. Yeah, all that stuff. It's not supposed to go according to plan. It's not going to. It never will. That is the journey. That's why you got to get started now and you will learn as you go. So you've wanted to start that thing for a while now, but maybe it's been fear or what stops a lot of people is perfectionism. It's not the right time yet. I don't have this in place. This hasn't happened yet. This circumstance outside my life is taking too much of my energy. This is, you know, right now the kids are in summer, so we're gonna go on vacation. But I can't start when the school year starts because now the kids are in school, so now I can't start. See how that works? There's always gonna be something in the way. There's never gonna be a perfect time or perfect circumstances to get started. That's why the most important thing is that you just get started on whatever that thing is that you've been waiting to get started on. Because you will learn as you go. The question to ask yourself is, what are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? You're waiting for this to happen. Well, yeah, this happened, but now this is in the way. But so then you wait for this thing to happen. Once this is out of the way, then you'll start. But then this pops up. So the point is, there's always gonna be something in the way. There's always gonna be a reason not to start. There's always gonna be a perfect situation that hasn't aligned yet for you to get started. You've got to overcome this, and this is perfectionism. You've got to be comfortable sucking in the beginning, not looking pretty, not being good at what you're gonna start doing yet, because you haven't gotten started, you're not supposed to be, you're just getting started. That would be like, you know, teaching someone to write for the first time or read for the first time. What do you mean? You're not Shakespeare yet? You can't write a best-selling novel? What do you mean? You just got started. You're not good at it yet? That's basically what you're doing to yourself. You're not supposed to be good at it yet. You'll learn as you grow, as you go, and as you grow. A little Freudian slip, but was it? I don't know. You'll learn as you grow. You'll learn as you go. Both of those. You'll learn them both. Just get it going. So it's not to say to be reckless. Do not be reckless and jump mindlessly into something. However, you've got to start before you're ready. So you may need a little bit of strategic planning and, and a little baseline bones of how things want to look and your end goal in mind, but you don't need to have all the details fleshed out. Maybe for some things you do, right? This is specific to each one of you guys watching into each one of your individual goals or projects or businesses, et cetera, et cetera, that you want to get started. You might need to, but most likely you need to start before you feel ready. And the reason why is you're never going to feel ready. <laughs> There's no perfect time. Again, you're never gonna feel ready. You're never gonna feel like, oh, now I feel good. Like, let's do this. You gotta just gotta jump in. You gotta jump in. You'll learn and evolve as you go. You'll learn and evolve as you grow. That's how it goes. So you may be studying and preparing for something or waiting to have this in place or this, but who knows if actually what you're even studying is going to apply to what you actually end up doing. It may or it may not. I think a college degree is a perfect example. What's the statistic? It's something like over 85% of people that get college degrees don't even work in the field that they study for. So you spend all this time studying and saying, I'm gonna start a career in marketing or psychology, which are what my degrees are in. I never did. Uh, I mean, yes, indirectly, but I never, I did get a small marketing job out of college to realize that's not, I don't want to work for a marketing agency. It's not what I want to do. I don't want a desk job. So you might need to. Psychology, I thought I was going to be um, a psychiatrist or a behavioral psychologist. I am both those things, but I, 
my work is not in that particular field of study. So you don't even know if what you're studying or what you're preparing for is actually, actually gonna be applicable to the business that you apply. Now, if you're getting a degree in accounting or something like that and you wanna start a small business, that's awesome. Obviously, that's directly transferable, but a lot of the time, it's not gonna be directly transferable. So you just gotta get going and then by getting going and getting started, you'll immediately be pointed to the gaps in your knowledge or experience that you do need to direct your intention to study. So it's another reason to get started because you may be studying something right now that's really not going to apply. So you're spending time and energy on something that isn't really necessarily going to apply or it's going to apply, but it's only gonna be a small amount of application. And really by just beginning the thing that you wanna do, you're immediately gonna say, oh, Okay, it was cool, I learned that, but this is actually what I need to learn. It's gonna point you in the direction that's gonna be clearly applicable and transferable to the direct project and goal that you want to achieve, this thing you wanna get started. Because even when you study, here's the thing, even if it is directly applicable to what you want to do, so you are wanting to start an art business in which you make jewelry and you're studying how to make the jewelry and you're practicing and stuff. Yes, it is directly applicable. So you're on uh, Udemy or, or Udemy or whatever it is, and you're taking online courses on how to start a jewelry business from scratch or whatever, that is directly applicable. But here's the thing, even what you actually need to learn for your uh, specific situation and what you're studying, it's still not gonna be the experience you need because you only get the experience of doing the thing by actually doing the thing. I learned this when I started personal training. Uh, I became what's called a CSCS, or a Certified Strength and Conditioning Specialist. It's the most reputable and recognizable certification for people who want to, or are serious about getting in the strength and conditioning world for a professional sports team and uh, college sports teams. Uh, you have to have a bachelor's degree just to even sit for this personal training, highly specialized personal training, basically, um, exam. And so I thought I was hot stuff you know, my plan was very clear. I was like, I'm gonna be a CSCS, I'm gonna get an internship at a major college or maybe in a professional sports team, and I'm gonna become a strength and conditioning coach for a professional or major college sports team, and it all happened very quickly. But I was like, before I do that though, I need to learn what I'm doing. So I'll get the CSCS, but I'm gonna go and train at like a, a big box gym, which is what I did, in order to get the actual reps and understand what it means to be in the trenches. So I spent all this time, like six months or something, getting the certification, intense, highly specialized exercise science knowledge. And I walk in day one to my job at 24 Hour Fitness as a personal trainer and my fitness manager's like, all right, let's see what you know, let's take me upstairs, walk me through a session. I didn't know what the hell to do. He's like, dude, you don't know what the hell you're doing. I was like, no, I don't. So I thought I was all this hot stuff because I had this super high specialized training degree that you have to have a bachelor's to sit for and I learned all this specialized knowledge but I had no idea how to apply it. I didn't even know how to train people or to cue people properly or to set them in the perfect positions or even design their workouts even though I had studied all this stuff. So the point I'm trying to make is even when you're studying for something, you're not actually gonna learn how to get great at the thing you're gonna get great at or you want to do until you learn by doing it. This again is why it's important to just get started. You will learn as you go. You will learn as you grow. You'll learn it by doing it. That's how we get great at anything. How many times have you started a job? Like even say you're like a nurse, right? And so that's a highly specialized body of knowledge that you go to school for. You take the NCLEX, uh, you know, all these other um, scientific study courses to be a nurse. But you know what? You really don't know what it's like to be a nurse until you're working in a hospital, till you get your first couple months of shifts in there and you're nursing. You're actually learning how to apply all this knowledge and you realize, okay, crap, this particular niche of nursing, I don't need any of that crap I studied for. This is what I need to learn for for this particular sect of nursing that I'm studying for. You learn how to become a CPA and accountant. You, you pass the CPA exam. You're an official CPA. You still don't know what it means to be a CPA until you get hired at a firm and you're in the day-to-day. -day. You see what I'm saying? So yes, even if the field of knowledge that you're studying and preparing for is applicable, you're still not gonna get good at the thing you need to get good at until you do the thing you need to do. So again, this is why it's important, cast all that crap aside, all your excuses, limiting beliefs, and just get started, and you will learn as you go. You will learn as you grow. I'm learning that with YouTube and channel and building a channel. There's all these other things, like I'm like, oh, okay, thumbnails, I'm like algorithm, tags. Yeah, how do I set up a community? I don't know any of this stuff. 
Even my ability to speak in my presence on camera is improving just as I'm going. So I can read all these books about what it means to do public speaking and be lively on camera, but I'm really not gonna know until I'm making videos and being on camera. It's the same thing for you. You gotta just start doing it. Go and do the thing and you will get better at doing the thing by doing the thing. It sounds crazy, I know. Sounds very simple and simplistic, and it is. When I put it like that, that's the point is I want you to realize how simplistic it is, but that we tend to put these walls up in front of ourselves that prevent us from getting started, which is a form of self-sabotage. You're stopping yourself before you even get started because of X, Y, and Z, because this is in place, because um, Jupiter isn't conjunct on Mars 13th yet, and it's not spring, um, so I need to wait until the flowers and the sunflowers bloom, and then I get back from my vacation, but then after I get back from my vacation, I have to go back to work, so it's still not the right time. You see what I'm saying? We always will have blocks and walls we put up ourselves. Break all that crap down, get it started. You'll learn as you go. You'll learn as you grow. That's how it goes. What matters most is that you get started and you begin to become that person. You are evolving and shaping into a new person as you build this vision for yourself. You won't actually start that process until you start doing the thing. Then you evolve into this version. So as I evolve into uh, a great YouTuber who's really creating value and positive impact on people's lives, I am evolving, I am growing. My speaking skills, my editing skills, uh, the content you guys like, my audience is changing, my message might change, all this is brand new to me. And it will evolve naturally as I go, but I won't know and I wouldn't have known until I started doing videos and doing them often. So you gotta get going. You also may not even like it after you get started. So this thing you have in your mind, maybe you've never had any experience in it, but you really wanna do it or it sounds good, and it feels good in your heart and you're looking up all these videos and research and it looks cool. But here's the thing, you also might, once you get started, not even like doing it. You may say you wanna do YouTube videos, but until you start doing YouTube videos, you may not even like it. You might go, God, I just really don't like it. Like this whole process is like a grind to me and it's not that like I'm not up for hard work, but I just genuinely don't enjoy it. I thought I would. Dude, that's all good, but you won't know it until you go and do it. You wanted to become a hairdresser, and so you went to beauty school, and you're gonna find out in beauty school when you actually start doing hair if you actually even like it. So you looked up courses and waited a whole extra year to start beauty school because you wanted to do hair so you don't have to, you can work for yourself or whatever, and then you get into beauty school and be like, dude, I do not wanna do hair. I actually don't even like this. So you'll only know this when you get started. This is why you just gotta get started, and you'll, figure it out. You'll evolve as it goes on. You also might get started and what started as a little spark might turn into a roaring bonfire of passion and ignite you and to bring in a whole nother level of excitement and focus and energy into your life that you didn't have before, but you don't know until you get started. You might actually really, really like this thing even more than you initially thought, but you won't know until you get started. So get it going guys get it going. Here's a little exercise that came to my mind that I'll share with you. Why haven't you gotten started yet? Write that question at the top. On the left side, split the paper down the middle. And you have two columns. On one side, you're going to write out all the great things that could or will happen by you starting and manifesting this vision that you want for your life. On the right side, you're going to write all the reasons why you haven't gotten started now. And just simply look and compare what list is longer what list is more powerful and greater? Do you have a super long list of circumstances and excuses and blocks in your way? Just cut all that out and just focus on what could happen and get started. If you look at these things and all the great things that could happen don't excite you, then it's probably not something that you wanna start. You're probably not excited, you probably don't even care. And you should probably still give it a shot because like I said, you might start it and really like it afterwards. But look at those two columns. Do the things in the life that you could be living when you start to do this thing and it really starts to happen for you. Does it outweigh all the reasons you haven't gotten started now? You should. should feel more energetically exciting. That's why all this is crap. Get that away. If you sit here and fixate on all of the things of the reasons why you haven't gotten started, then 
what you want to do probably actually isn't really in resonance with you. It's probably not that powerful because it's not strong enough to pull you away and overcome all the reasons you haven't gotten started yet. So try that out. Quote I'll leave with you today is from Amelia Earhart. The quote is, the hardest part is getting started. The rest is merely tenacity. It's for everything. Think about it. You didn't want to study, but once you started studying, it got easy. You didn't want to go to the gym. Once you were at the gym, it was easy. You didn't want to do X, but once you just started it a little bit, it actually got easier. So the hardest part is getting started. The rest is merely tenacity. So if you're lagging on something, guys, try that exercise out and understand. Rewatch this again. Get the, get the points down. You got to get started. And things will evolve naturally as you go. You'll evolve as you grow. It'll get better and better. You'll get better and better. You'll find out very quickly if it's something you like or don't like. A lot of you guys are gonna watch this and you are gonna start it and some magic is gonna happen in your life. You're gonna be like, holy crap, what was I waiting for? And then other you guys will be like, oh yeah, whatever, this video is stupid. I'll just wait until next spring, until next year. Now's not the right time, so we'll do it in, uh, next year or a couple of months or when the kids are on vacation. But what you have to understand, that's just the cycle that you've been living, you do that all the time. There's always gonna be something in the way. And then when that thing goes away, well, there's something else. Well, that, Cause that's my point, there's only gonna be something else. So just get started, evolve as you grow, evolve as you go. The hardest part is getting started. The rest is merely tenacity, Amelia Earhart. So what I got for you today, guys, love you so much. I'll see you very soon for another video, peace.